What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. I hope you're all doing great, and welcome back to this new episode. In this video, once again, I'm going to review and compare two fragrances, and the first one here is Patchouli Intense from the house of Nikolai, and we are going to compare it with the Woods Collection Moonlight. Uh, if you see on Fragrantica, you will find out that a lot of people said that uh, Moonlight is an alternative, or you can say a clone of uh, Patchouli Intense from the house of Nikolai. So we will try to find out that how true it is, if these two fragrances really smell similar, or if not, then what are the differences? So let's start our review, and we'll start with Nikolai's Patchouli Intense. So first of all, this fragrance, it gives you, uh, you can say, a very classic uh, kind of feel. It's not something very modern or very playful, but still it smells very nice. It's so unique. It's green, it's soapy, and there are uh, some florals here, which we will discuss. So let's start a review. I don't have the box of this perfume. I got a partial. I bought it uh, from a guy here in UAE because I think the original uh, perfume, the, the brand new in the box perfume were about 480 something dirhams and I bought this perfume around 350 uh, dirhams. So I saved some bucks here <laughs> and sacrificing the presentation here. So sorry for that, you can uh, Google for the presentation. So let me give you the nose breakdown first and then we will see that how this perfume actually smells. So here in the top you will get geranium, lavender and orange. In the middle you will get patchouli, ceylon, cinnamon and rose. And then in the base there is sandalwood, amber and vanilla. This is a nose breakdown. But here, uh, the first thing you will smell here is of course a lot of spicy patchouli, that green spicy patchouli. There is a lot of greenness here. There is geranium. Geranium gives you that blunt powdery rose type of feel. And then a very strong note of lavender resting on a very beautiful base of sandalwood. You will get that very light, sweet hints of sandalwood here. And this is it. Then uh, in the second phase, which comes around, you can say around like one hour, you will start getting that uh, sweetness of that orangey kind of sweetness here. And it becomes a more soapy. And it smells like somehow like surf, or you can say this uh, wash clothing detergent powders. Uh, we call it surf here in our common slang. So this is how it smells. It's soapy, it gives you that surf kind of feel, but it's very unique and it smells so good. It's very green, very spicy, patchouli, geranium, lavender, powdery based scent. This is how it smells. And most of the time this perfume is linear because this is ultra long lasting scent and this is not a beast. This is father or grandfather, or you can say a beast uh, multiplier by 1000 kind of scent. It's very long lasting. I put a single spray uh, on here in my inner elbow and from the morning, till night, 9 p.m. At 9 p.m., uh, my wife asked me that, uh, from where this uh, surf kind of smell is coming from? So <laughs> I asked her to sniff my inner elbow and she said, yeah, yeah, this, this, this is the one. So it projects insanely for hours and hours and hours and longevity is crazy. One spray on your fabric and it's going to stay there forever, forever. It's, it's not going away even after a few washes because uh, I was still able to smell that perfume on, on my skin uh, next day, afternoon, after the shower. Even after the shower, the smell was there. So it's ultra long lasting and a, a, a beastly projecting type of scent. So performance is through the roof here. Uh, I think no one can beat this perfume in performance. Uh, for me, I love these kind of green, spicy kind of scents. So for me, this is something very nice. It's it's so good, it smells so good and uh, maybe you will not like it very much in the first wearing, but trust me guys, on your fourth or fifth wearing, you will start to love it. Uh, see the damage I have done to this bottle until now. So beautiful scent, beautiful scent. Uh, your nose uh, have to get used to uh, of this scent to explore more notes and more layers of this fragrance. 
uh, beautiful scent. So this is patchouli intense and this is about the fragrance and longevity. And now uh, let's see that how the Woods collection moonlight smells. So let me show you the presentation here. You will get this perfume in this small box uh, with this floral pattern in the back and then the logo of the Woods collection here, the name of the perfume, uh, moonlight. And then in the back you will find some ingredient details and nothing on the other side on one side you will find the quantity of the fragrance and then in the bottom few more uh, details and barcode etc so this is the box and now let me show you the bottle and here we go you will get this perfume in this beautiful barrel shaped bottle simple bottle nothing much going around here and here you will find the sticker very similar to the box uh, with the name of the perfume and the branding and the cap here is made of metal it's quite heavy and you will get this beautiful design engraved on the sides and then on the top you will find this beautiful logo of uh, the woods collection here on the top i'm not sure if you can watch it clearly here yeah it's clear so this is the presentation and now let's talk about the scent the fragrance of this perfume let me give you the nose breakdown first and then i will try to explain you that how this perfume smells and then we will discuss that how close these two are so here the nose breakdown is quite similar to uh, patchouli intense but they have added few extra things here here in the top you will get a bourbon geranium lavender and orange very similar to patchouli intense then in the middle you will get patchouli turkish rose cinnamon which is once again very similar to uh, patchouli intense but here there is an addition of olibanum and then in the base you will get sandalwood amber and vanilla once again very similar uh, to patchouli intense but they have added two main ingredients here addition of two main ingredients which are leather and bay leaf and these two notes are you can say the game changer here so uh, let's talk about the fragrance of moonlight here so this was a notes breakdown and then here uh, when you spray it from the first sniff if you have ever used patchouli intense from the first sniff you will say that oh it's patchouli intense but just for a few seconds just for a few seconds it's just going to remind you it's it's just going to hit that uh, portion of your brain or it's just going to touch uh, that area of your memory where this perfume is resting but in next few seconds this perfume becomes something totally different uh, here straight away you will get a lot of geranium patchouli and a very strong note of leather and the leather here is industrial type of leather it's not suede smooth rounded kind of leather but it's very strong industrial type of leather and then you will get a note of olibanum in the mid here it's not very prominent but you can uh, smell that light smoky citrusy kind of vibes here but they're in the back in the middle somewhere and then a strong a green herbal camphoric kind of note i think uh, that greenness and that camphoric type of vibes are coming from uh, the use of bay leaf here so bay leaf is giving it uh, that herbal green spicy kind of feel so uh, this is how it smells the leather used here is industrial type of leather and it gives you smell of leather products that if you have a leather bag a pure handmade leather bag or if you have ever used handmade pure leather belts or jackets that strong industrial uh, smell of leather when it's polished so that uh, leather polish and leather uh, smell that kind of combo you will get in this perfume you will also get some sweetness and creaminess of sandalwood and vanilla here in the beginning but these things are going to stay with you just for a few minutes and then they fade away in next 10 to 15 minutes that's the time when the floral aspects of this perfume starts to play and that powdery lavender kicks in it took this perfume around 20 to 30 minutes for settling down and that's the time when the structure of this perfume becomes more clear and it will be easier for you to understand the whole concoction and this is the time when the real journey starts once this perfume settles down you will left with a beautiful combination of patchouli geranium and leather uh, settling on a beautiful base of sandalwood and once this perfume starts its journey towards the dry down it becomes more and more creamier uh, with every minute passed by and uh, it becomes more subtle 
that strong note of leather settled down patchouli becomes more prominent and that camphoric green notes also settle down they become lighter uh, that industrial leather uh, note becomes much lighter much tamed and then in the final dry down which comes around after uh, four to four and a half hour uh, you will left with a beautiful combo of patchouli uh, rose and uh, vanilla with of course uh, uh, that same similar kind of soapy vibe here. So this is how this perfume actually smells. So what are the similarity between these two perfumes? Can this perfume moonlight replace patchouli intense? Do they smell similar? So the answer is no. Both of these scents are totally different. Yes, there are some few similarities here. Uh, the patchouli, that green spicy patchouli used in both of these perfumes are similar you will get some vibes of patchouli intense but here uh, this scent is in an another direction this is uh, based more on that strong industrial leather there is a very strong uh, note of uh, uh, a bay leaf that green camphoric type of smell here which is more prominent uh, you can say that the similarity between uh, these two perfumes are only around uh, if I'm not mistaken or if I'm not wrong, it's around 40%. So uh, some wipes of patchouli intense you will get in this perfume. But other than that, this is a totally different concoction. It can't replace patchouli intense from the house of Nikolai. Uh, but yes, if you cannot afford this one or if you feel that this perfume is more linear, uh, it's more old school type of scent, then you can go with this one. Because I can say this is a little bit more complex as compared to patchouli intense. There are more things happening here in this perfume. Uh, there are uh, some more notes or accords, or you can say uh, there are more layers to explore here in Moonlight. An amazing scent on a very affordable and amazing uh, price tag. So this was about the fragrance and the differences of these two perfumes. Try to check this perfume, don't blind buy it because maybe for some people it's not uh, that good and maybe for some people it smells very old very classic and also don't blind by this one because both of these scents are uh, niche type scents they fall in niche category complex unique and different kind of concoctions so don't blind buy always try before buying i would like to give you uh, my analogy here to describe this scent or you can say uh, my imagination which comes to my mind after smelling this perfume so imagine if geranium is somehow a character or something so if geranium is wearing a leather jacket and it's going to start a very special kind of ritual to to transform uh, himself so the place where he's sitting is made of sandalwood let's say if if there is a chair and table or you can say a stage made of sandalwood and geranium is sitting there wearing that leather jacket and geranium is burning a little bit of olibanum in the fire so after around like one hour geranium transforms into patchouli and that leather jacket fades away uh, but still you can feel that spirits or you can say that ghost of geranium and leather in the environment so <laughs> uh, this is the energy which comes to my mind uh, you know that kind of feel you would get from this perfume and now let's talk about the other aspects of these perfumes for example performance so performance wise i have already told you that no one can beat patchouli intense this is uh, on an another level and here in the case of moonlight uh, i have tried this perfume and it gave me a longevity a very good longevity of around like nine to ten hours easily projection was good for the first couple of hours and then it becomes a little bit lighter but it stays there you can smell it you can feel it and especially when you are going to interact with people they will be able to smell it the performance is very good here no issue at all for someone like me it's great and now let's talk about gender so this is a pure masculine type of scent ladies they can try it because there is that beautiful lavender there is that soapiness uh, that uh, geranium and rose kind of vibes here but i think for me because of that strong leather uh, in the case of patchouli intense yes ladies can rock it easily but in the case of moonlight this is uh, going more towards the 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 gents side the men's side 
uh, and patchouli in, in tense is going more towards the the ladies side the feminine side so this is the difference when it comes to gender and now let's talk about age group uh, these scents are not meant to be used by teenagers or very young people you must be mature and uh, even your nose should be a little bit mature enough you should be uh, used to with niche perfumes so i can say if you are around uh, 28 to 30 years old then you can rock it or especially if you are in your old age then it can be a very good scent for you so you can say from the age of 30 onward you can rock this perfume and now let's talk about season or feather to get the best experience out of these two perfumes i will recommend you to use them in cold weather from fall then in winter and then you can say uh, first few weeks of uh, spring you can rock them as long as the weather is cold you can use them even if the temperature is not very high you can still rock them and not a good idea to use these perfumes when the when the summer is very high when the temperature is very high you may can use patchouli intense even in summers but here because of that strong uh, leather note it will be difficult for you to to, to pull off this perfume in summers uh, patchouli intense can be used in sunlight in in hot summer days but woods collection moonlight no and now let's talk about uh, what you can say uh, occasion you can use this perfumes in almost in any kind of occasion uh, while in malls going here and there i cannot see any particular or special kind of scenario for these two perfumes you can uh, use them in almost every kind of scenario wherever you want it will work almost everywhere especially in the gyms try a patchouli intense it's going to give you that fresh uh, soapy uh, surf kind of vibes all around you people will be thinking that you are wearing very fresh laundry very freshly washed laundry so this was about the occasion and now let's come to the main point which is pricing so in the case of patchouli intense it comes in 100 ml quantity and the price of this perfume here in gray market is around 460 to 480 uae dirhams uh, with the full presentation on the other hand the woods collection moonlight uh, is coming in 100 ml quantity once again with the uh, ude parfum concentration and the price nowadays inside uae is only 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 130 or 40 uae dirhams 140 i think if i am not mistaken uh, even if it's let's say 150 or 60 still it's an amazing price for this kind of scent uh, the quality everything is niche here don't get carried away with the price tag that is it's not very expensive uh, so it will not be good no this is damn good stuff here and i have already ordered 2 to 3 more scents uh, from the same brand because this was my first perfume from this house and i'm really uh, liking the quality here it's, it's very good so this was my review and comparison of patchouli intense and moonlight i hope you like it and until the next video take care and bye i'll catch you in another Review, put your scent on and stay fragrant.